My old friend, I've come to talk with you again. The Amagi is one of the four sister ships of the Amagi class that were supposed to be one of the new battle cruisers, but never saw service because the Japanese people had already given up on the war and had no reason to build her, only her little sister saw service when she was rebuilt as a carrier. Nevertheless let's talk about the ship, she is a battle cruiser that is only available in a special event, so I recommend you that you get your ass down and start grinding. Otherwise she runs away and will never come back, and now the things that makes her unique are her perks. Not only her stats are good, but also the skills she has makes her a really good PvE ship. She also has pretty nice guns. And her torpedoes help her with dealing with Kamikaze boats. But every ship has disadvantages, and from this it is the AA. Like seriously, even some DDs have better AA than this floating piece of metal. So I advise you, to use some AA ships, otherwise she will be quickly on the bottom of the sea. But now to its skills, her three special perks are. Look at this noob, buff them all, and look at my shield. The first perk on the list has the special ability to give negative effects to the enemies, like decreasing the fire and torpedo power. The next one is also good because it gives your fleet plus morale. That means they have lower chances to get hit by stuff. And the last skill gives her a 70% chance to do barrage. But that's not it, if you have 4 or more Japanese ships, it decreases the loading time of the first salvo up to 45%. So remember to make a Japanese fleet, and kill people in Nippon Steel. So the big question is, what do you equip, that she becomes the strongest ship in your fleet? This is simple, you can equip whatever you want, because you don't need special equipment to activate her skill. But I recommend on the main guns, the triple 410mm prototype guns, if you want to cripple down heavy cruisers and BBs. Or if you want to kill sleepy DDs, you can go with the triple 406mm guns. On the secondaries I would choose the twin, or triple 152mm guns. And last the AA, there is really no point in my opinion to waste good equipment, but going with the twin 113mm or the quadruple 28mm guns would be a decent choice. For auxiliary equipment, go with a steering gear, to decrease the chance of getting hit by a torpedo, and an anti-torpedo bulge, to survive even longer. Now you know what you need to do, with that you created to ultimate PvE killing machine. Now go out there and show how Japan really does war 